Now, I would never call JYP out on this channel because he pays my bills, but doesn't mean you guys can in the comments. Hi, welcome. So today's video is really exciting because I'm going to be roasting Twice's Feel Special outfits, which I actually quite like. A lot of people wonder why I put roasting on my titles if I actually like quite a lot of the outfits. Well, <laughs> the thing is, if you say one negative thing about an idol's outfit, you have to be sure you've at least warned people at least 20 times before you do it. The title being the first indicator, the disclaimer being the second indicator, <laughs> and yet people still don't listen. I actually have a collab coming out with K-Pop Shake, ranking Twice's outfits by era, but until then, I thought I would roast their Feel Special outfits exclusively. Disclaimer, fat people are deserving of love and respect. If you don't agree, you can kindly get the f out. We're gonna start off with these first set of outfits. Actually, I'm going to stop you right there to remind you to subscribe to this channel, click the bell to be notified, and you can also do little things here and there to help sustain this channel, like asking me why I pronounce rosé like that, or sharing my videos with people that you can hate them with. These give me Christmas party vibes. Everyone looks like they're going to a Christmas party. However, it does kind of lack that cohesion in the sense that they look like they're going to slightly different Christmas parties. Tahyeon and Momo look like they're going to a very chic Christmas party. Sana and Nayeon look like they're going to a more mm, costumey Christmas party. Boring a little bit on tacky, but like not too much. Still cute though. Then Tonghyun and Jihyo look like they're going to a 90s Christmas party. Chui and Taeyong look like they're going to like a 70s inspired Christmas party. So we do have like this Christmas party cohesion. However, it's still a bit lacking. I mean, there are definitely some ways that they could have tied each member's outfit together. For example, instead of Sana's very big, obnoxious black belt, they could have given her a really tiny belt with the same polka dot pattern that we see in Taeyong's pants or even Jiho's shirt. And then Chongyun's polka dots could have also matched that same polka dot. They could have tied each of the members' outfits together with the same type of polka dot, but them going with different types of polka dot is really throwing me off. Moving on to the sets of purple-esque outfits. I want to point out that I really like Chongyun's blazer as well as Momo's shirt. I think they have the best outfits out of everyone. Taeyong's outfit is stunning. I love the white sparkles. It's really beautiful. However, she admittedly sticks out so much compared to the rest of the members, which isn't something inherently wrong. Sometimes it's nice to have, you know, one member centered through their clothing or something of the sorts. However, I feel like three of the members here stick out in very different ways, which really throws off the cohesion. And another thing I find is that they really overdo both schoolgirl outfits and now what I'm seeing is these black tight shorts mixed with a flowier top. To me, it just kind of gets boring after a while. Moving on to these sets of silver and black sparkly outfits. They're not my favorite outfits, but they rank really high. This isn't a ranking video. <laughs> Wait for that later on with K-pop shake. What I love about these outfits is that it still gives me this Christmas party vibe, but they look like they're all going to the same Christmas party. They look like they coordinated to match at this Christmas party, which is such a cute thing to do. You have elements of one member's outfit that can be paralleled to another member's outfit. So Tang's blazer matches Momo's shirt. Nayeon's sparkly ombre dress is so elegant and insert synonym for stunning because apparently I say that way too much. And I kind of love hate Tongyeon's outfit because it reminds me of her Romeo outfit from What is Love, but it's also super loose and then fitted at the same time and honestly, I'm a bit conflicted. And then of course, mixing black with black and sparkles with sparkles. It's just very cohesive and very visually stunning in my opinion. Actually, I do find that Sana's outfit stands out in a weird way. It's kind of a pop of color, but it's still muted at the same time, so kind of what's the point? Moving on to these sets of pink and gold outfits. I know when I did my review for the music video that I said, and I quote, I don't like the pink mixed with gold. However, I don't know if it's because the lighting is a bit different because it's on a music show, but this gold translate a lot more to nude to me. So in my opinion, we're losing the warmth of the gold colors and gaining the coolness of a nude color, or rather the neutrality of a nude color, and mixing that with the cool tones of the pink, it just matches better in my opinion. This outfit is actually super cute. However, I've seen these shorts in a doo doo doo, -doo performance and I've seen these shorts in an icy performance. This is like the sisterhood of the traveling pants but with sparkly pink shorts. <laughs> And I just love how extravagant her outfits tend to be. She tends to have really puffy things around her wrists or her arms, and I think it's just very beautiful. 
And then I just love the different types of materials that they play with. They play with more textured materials, more flowy materials, and I think all together it just blends so well. Moving on to one of my favorite sets of outfits actually. I was a bit on the fence on how I felt about these outfits because I didn't really know if I liked, you know, mixing this beautiful shiny silk material with such a muted pink matte color, but I actually really love it now. Obviously, had they done completely pink silk outfits for each one of the members, it would have still been equally as stunning. However, I have to admit that the matte muted pink just adds a visual point of interest and just makes your eye move around a bit more. It makes it a little bit more interesting. I've probably mentioned this before, but I love, 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 love silk. And I also love velvet. Had they done entirely velvet outfits for Feel Special, I think it would have just been the cherry on top. The only thing is, I'm not a fan of Sana's pink hair mixed with this very bright, shiny velvet. I just feel like the tones of pink don't really mesh very well because I feel like the pink on her head is more like a yellowy, warm tone. It also looks pretty grungy, which doesn't quite match the outfits, in my opinion. But again, just the way that the silk falls on their bodies and crumples up, it just is so visually appealing. I also want to point out these formal gloves. I feel like in K-pop, especially this year, this has been a trend. However, this is a nice twist on that trend to have just like, these fluff balls off of your wrist. I think it's really nice as well. Now we're moving on to the sets of black and silver outfits. Now, admittedly, these aren't my favorites. I really much preferred the other set. For some reason, this gives me these futuristic vibes, but the black mixed into it kind of dulls that down a little bit to the point where I'm a bit confused on what to think of them or like what theme they're really going for. On to these sets of white outfits. These, of course, so stunning. It's very rare that you're gonna see me hate on a set of white outfits. I think they're very fresh looking, very cute. There's always just this angelic element to them that I really appreciate. Okay, so these next set of outfits are kind of a mess. Probably the worst outfits that they've ever had for the stage performance. I don't even know what theme they're going for. It looks like a Christmas theme mixed with, you know, the traditionally quote unquote feel special theme mixed with, I don't know. First of all, Sana already looked like Santa Claus in one of the previous outfits we saw. Now she looks like an elf or something. I'm not opposed to it, but if you're going to do a theme, like go for it. Then we just have sparkly elements mixed with, you know, just more casual elements, which normally I'm totally down for dichotomies being mixed together. However, in this sense, it just doesn't really make sense because it's on two different people. You know, let's say we have Tui who is wearing like a very casual outfit, in my opinion, next to Momo who's wearing a very extravagant dress. So to me, it just doesn't make the most sense. So I decided to save the best for last. These are my all-time favorite outfits that TWICE has ever done in their entire lives. The one bad thing I have to say about these outfits is that they did Tongyeon dirty. They did her dirty quite a few times throughout these performances. But particularly this one, like the only thing saving this is the type of material. Like it is admittedly a nice type of material, but the fit of it is just really not that nice. And on top of that, she stands out because she's the only one not wearing white shoes and wearing gray. Now, I would never call JYP out on this channel because he pays my bills, but doesn't mean you guys can in the comments. So we're playing with a lot of different types of material. We're playing with these sequence materials, silk, these floofy iridescent materials, and a lot of them look very majestic. And for some reason, I feel like Momo's outfit, it's kind of out of the box a little bit. It kind of stands out in a different way, but still looks so visually appealing. Like, I wouldn't think to mix all those colors together, but they did it, and it looks really nice on her. And then Chui's dress is pretty simple, but very feminine and very cutesy with a little bit of a cutout. And then it's mixed with the harder elements of white combat boots. And I like that they paired those elements together. Dihyo's outfit, so beautiful. The only thing is I find that they give her, like, turtleneck-esque elements the chest part is open but then it feels so constricted around her neck that i feel personally uncomfortable for her but other than that mixing the sequins with the silk and then the slits down her legs are very beautiful tang's outfit is very similar but of course it's silk as well still so amazing as are nan and sana's dresses the dresses are so short that there are shorts built into the dress and then shorts underneath the shorts built into the dress that needed shorts the shortception is just it's just a lot so yeah that's basically all i had to say about these outfits so our comment shout out goes to this lovely individual thank you for commenting make sure you leave a super funny comment in the comments below to be shouted out next time